Hi everybody, this is uh, Frank Ellis, and the Let Me Be Frank guy uh, today with our segment of Four Minutes with Frank. Hey, it's the new year. Happy New Year. It's that time of year where you start making goals and resolutions for the next year to come, and, and you know, you get to about March, and all of a sudden you're kind of questioning whether you're going to continue on with those resolutions or or those goals haven't been achieved and things like that and everything. But hey, that's okay. Uh, change in direction is always good for all of us and everything. Change of attitudes. Um, it's always great to start the new year off with some ideas of things that you want to change in your life and everything because we do have that opportunity to change things in our lives that we'd like to have changed. Myself, I have some things that I plan to do over the next course of the next year. Uh, a lot of goals. Um, there are a lot of uh, accomplishments that I want to achieve. And by doing so, I will help a lot of people. One of the goals that I have for this next year is to actually work with 100 people to help them find the, their inner strengths, achieve their goals, and to experience their dreams. What a great goal that will be, huh? Trust me, I'm going to work really hard on that. Whether I get to those 100 people, yeah, well, it's, well, we'll see what happens. But we're definitely going to take it one day at a time. Take it one person at a time and see where we go, and we will definitely, you know, do the best that we can. Now, change of directions. This last year, I had my plan all in, in place for things that I wanted to do, and things where I wanted to to achieve and go and everything. And the cool thing about it was, is I'm glad that I was never set in stone with what I wanted to do because there were a number of times where I I changed directions. I went a different way. And for doing that, I changed my attitude quite a bit. I didn't ever expect that I would ever have a book out and actually be an author. It just wasn't part of my plan at the time. Sorry. But here, now I have a second book coming out. And how cool is that, huh? It's just a changing how I'm going about with the things that I want to achieve in my life. You can do the same thing. It's okay to change directions. It's okay to change your attitude. In fact, changing attitude is probably a good thing for you. Now, what I suggest you do is give yourself some idea of some things that you want to make, you know, for changes in your life for the next, you know, next year and everything. Doesn't mean you have to stick to them. Most time we never do, but that's okay. That just means that that's point in time you come up with new ones. So there you go. Um, I would like to take the time to tell you that you can truly make the changes in your life to have a wonderful, wonderful 2011. You do hold the key to your happiness. Unlock the chains that hold you back and you'll have a great 2011. Hey, Happy New Year's and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Be safe. Thanks.